Greetings. I just wanted to respond to this video as quickly as possible. Um, uh, the Quran in Islam, or God in Islam, which is God, Allah is God in Arabic. Christians, Arabs call uh, God Allah. Um, so I want to clear that up for one thing, and I also wanted to respond that uh, al wadud which means the loving in Arabic, appears twice in the Quran, and every surah in the Quran begins with, in the name of God, the most gracious, the most merciful. <clears throat> um, God in Islam is very merciful, and I think that people that in Christianity that say God is loving um, in Christianity and not in Islam have a very twisted idea. Um, one clear thing is that we don't believe God um, sacrificed Jesus or allowed Jesus to be sacrificed, and we don't believe God took a son. But if one were to believe, and we do not believe, that God were to take a son, why would such said God let his only son be sacrificed by people that don't even believe in him? And it's no comparison to the sacrifice of Abraham, upon whom God rewarded with the sacrifice of a ram. And he did not sacrifice his son, but he certainly didn't let Ibrahim sacrificed his only son to a pack of people that had no concern for him or people that did not believe in him. So why would God, loving and merciful, send his only son down to earth to be killed by sinners? So we believe that God in Islam is in fact most kind and most clement. Uh, it appears in the Quran in many different ways. Love, the simple word, you may not find it every single time because love is expressed in many different ways upon which God, through his mercy, has expressed in the Quran. So um, let us consider that when we start dialogues about uh, talking about things like this. It requires some knowledge and some experience. And please read before you just uh, take knowledge from people that claim to be telling the truth. And that's all. Have a great day.